Financing for five years for a limited time only at Ashley Home Store. Count on Local 3 News for more local stories. We have had such a good time this week with the folks at Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union and these Know Your Dose segments. I think they're going to continue on through the year to come. But this morning we're wrapping things up for the week with Jake Cash, who is a community engagement liaison for the credit union. Matt Hopkins is an HR manager there, and they're going to give us one last bit of advice, and they even brought us a treat. So good to see you both. Great to see you, Julie. Thanks can, for having can us. Can we give They're a shout us. out on the cake? Yes, that was Chatta Cakes Bakery on Hickson Pike. They're a small business who actually got second place on our Ideal Leap grant in 2020, which was the virtual year. So great small business. And I, I wanted to go that way first because the old Benjamin Franklin line of a penny saved is a penny earned mm. um, is so true. And so what we've done all this week is give you tips, courtesy of the folks at the credit union, on how you can save that dough exactly. and make it work for you. So that's what Chatta Cakes did. Exactly. Those years and that really ago. fits with our theme. You know, you brought, yeah. we brought in dough the first day, and now we have a cake that we've baked to show that when you have all the different ingredients, you can put the recipe together of good personal finance, make something awesome. And they even put a $20 bill on there, not a, not a single dollar bill. So we're optimistic. <laughs> Right. So, okay, Matt, you're going to talk about things from an HR perspective because um, when you're applying for a job, very often you first think about the salary, which makes sense, but there are benefits. So what you could be making from one company, if, you're, if your income is equal, look and see if the benefits are different job offer to job offer. Is that right? That's right, Julie. And when I talk to folks about benefits, compensation, I like to use the phrase, your total rewards, because you're mm. not thinking about just, the, again, the salary. You're looking at all pieces of the pie. Um, benefits are a vast part of your total compensation package. Mm -hmm. uh, your health insurance, your dental, your vision. Then beyond that, you've got your 401k, and what does your employer provide you with a 401k for matching contributions? Uh, you've got life insurance, long-term disability, short-term disability, accidental death and dismemberment. So you can tell I can keep on going on and on <laughs> about these things, uh, but there's just a lot to consider and it all depends on your situation, what makes the most sense for it you. It does, that's absolutely right, because if you already have, if you're married and one spouse has the health insurance, you might not need to take that out. For, right. for yourself. On the 401k side of things though, and the life insurance side of things, um, if those are things you're paying into with each paycheck, people can forget that that's then, you already paid the tax on it. That's correct. So that's helping you with savings. And unless you're a great saver and very disciplined, you're saving that money and not even realizing it's adding up. That's right. Out of sight, out of mind is a great part of 401k because you're counting that money out of your paycheck already. It's like it never even goes to your bank account, your right. credit union account. Um, I encourage folks to look at the uh, provisions within their employer's 401k because you don't want to leave money on the table. Um, if your employer matches you on your first maybe 3% of your paycheck that you put towards your retirement dollar for dollar, that's money that you could be leaving on the table if you don't take advantage of the full match. Right. Um, so, you know, look at all those things. I don't know how much you're, I mean, I'm guessing that you know HR within the confines of the credit union. Uh, you, uh, do you advise businesses on what they should offer in no. terms of HR? You don't do that, do you? Okay. My, my role is strictly within the credit union. Okay. Um, so, do you, if, I don't even know if the credit union offers this, so forgive me for asking, but if you have an opportunity to have a health savings account, do you think that's a benefit to people depending on their situation? Yeah, and that's a great, again, it all depends. It all depends. Um, if an employer offers a uh, either a health savings account or a flexible spending account, mm -hmm. those are some great ways to save for medical expenses. Uh, the, the credit union offers a flexible spending account, which allows employees to take money and uh, allocate that to their uh, medical expenses, and those monies are deferred pre-tax, so they aren't even included in your taxable income. What about just the open door policy policy that you hope to have with your HR director. I imagine for you at the credit union, you want employees to feel free to come say, hey Matt, help me out with this. Am I understanding this correctly? You should be a resource for people, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, our name implies that we're a resource to all the humans that work here. <laughs> and uh, we have a great team at TVFCU. 
and uh, our employees know that if there is any questions about benefits, because let's be honest, benefits can get really complex and confusing, mm -hmm. and if you don't uh, deal with these things every day, it is important to have someone that's a specialist that can help guide you through uh, these complex interactions. Um, we have uh, multiple employees in our HR department that are ready to assist our employees with any questions they might have. Including life transitions. So go ahead, Jake. Yeah, absolutely. I was just going to say that can definitely be part of your personal finance too, you know, to have these people available to you to help you take advantage of the benefits that are on the table, like we right. were saying with 401ks and whatnot. So when you're job hunting, that's definitely something to look for as well. Is COBRA something that is a governmental thing or is that offered by individual companies? So COBRA is a piece of uh, legislation that requires uh, uh, health plans to be able to offer continuation of benefits if you have a uh, basically separation from employment. Right. Um, it allows you to continue your same medical coverage and same dental, same vision if you're enrolled in that mm -hmm. for uh, a period of time after you've left the organization. Okay, mm -hmm. and that, that is not um, elective. That is something that everyone has the right to take if they if they qualify. It. Okay, got yes. it, got it, got it. Yes, it's not required. Um, right. And there are certain events that uh, if you're eligible for COBRA at one point in time, um, qualifying events can then make you not eligible for COBRA. Hey, listen, future. I did it once. We, our second mm -hmm. daughter was on the way and uh, we had a, a, an employment shift and you, you pay for it. You sure do. But it's great because you've right. got that coverage that mm -hmm. you've been relying on and it's a great peace of mind right. so I'm a big Absolutely. believer in so it. So like with employment shifts or if you're self-employed or if you qualify as low income there's all kinds of benefits you can do through the government or mm -hmm. just through like yourself like there's IRAs, uh, individual retirement accounts if you are self-employed and mm -hmm. don't have an employer with a 401k so like there are a lot of different options um, right. no matter what your scenario is so it's important to really look into those things and factor them into your personal spending plan and your personal finance. You know we've, we've just kind of touched the the surface. It's been the icing on the cake, so to speak, <laughs> uh, this week. But as we go through the year, I think we're going to have these chats on kind of a monthly basis, right, Jake? Yes, Isn't that once the idea? a month, we're going to cover all sorts of different topics, bring in all kinds of subject matter experts from the credit union, mm -hmm. cover a lot of different aspects of personal finance. And we're kind of hoping this was just sort of a, intended to be an overview, yeah. but I think we might even get into the weeds a little bit Absolutely. as we <laughs> go into the year and figure out, you know, what is an annuity a good idea? Do you want to get into more high? risk stock, how do sure. you know what's right for you? really in-depth personal growth. Absolutely. Growth. And I want to let people know to go to tvfcu.com slash know your dough and we'll have all the episodes there so you can watch all of them. Perfect. Yeah. I was talking to a friend. Um, we had Nick was on yesterday talking mm -hmm. or today, yesterday, talking about the password safety yeah uh, and i was talking to some friends about that so all of us have gone home now and we're redoing our passwords so <laughs> thank you both so much and we'll go find a knife in the break room and delve into the cake <laughs> all right thank you julie so all there right. is the information tvfcu.com and in this case do backslash know your dough and that's where they'll have all of these episodes we have them on our website as well and thank you both so much well, thanks for having thank us you, julie to all the pet project starters, weekend gardeners, rollover artists, and kitchen a la cartists, there's a new lifestyle destination for your next inspiration. Bam! Da